All right, so next up we're going to move into some of the more modern stuff I have bought over the past year or two. And first up on the list, this is my MTH Real King Imperial Blue Comet. Um, this one is pretty important to me as well. For those of you who do not know, I'm from New Jersey, so this is kind of goes back to my roots. Um, now, I've actually been to the Jersey City Station where this thing met its final destination from Atlantic City. And I've been to that station, like I said, and it's pretty cool to see where it used to pull in and out of. Um, and also, my favorite color is blue, so what more can you want? I mean, this is a beautiful engine. Like I said, Jersey Central, so connects back to my hometown and I just love this thing too gorgeous blue pink nice gold really nice engine now you might be asking yourself Matt didn't we already see this engine why are we seeing it again um, now unfortunately when I did take this engine out of the box for the first time uh, three years after moving down here it's been sitting in a hot attic for three years, like I said. And unfortunately, when I took it out of the box, it would not run properly, and the board did wind up getting cooked. So I did actually have to replace the board in this, and it has been upgraded to PS3. So it's kind of like a heart transplant, if you want to say that. Um, so I consider it kind of a newer engine, so it can kind of classify with the newer engines I purchased, I guess. I mean, it was not a cheap fix, but... Like I said, this paint scheme is just so gorgeous, and my dad and I both love this engine a lot, so we definitely didn't want to lose it and keep it as a dummy unit, so we wanted to resurrect it. So we put a new heart into it, so it's been upgraded to PS3. I do want to download the original uh, sounds to it from the PS2 board, but I'll do that on a rainy day, I guess. But So yeah, this has a brand new heart. It's been upgraded to PS3. It sounds pretty good, but I like the old sounds better, so I'll probably put that back, but... Yeah, that's uh, the story on this one. Alright, so next up, this is my MT Premier SD70M-2 in the beautiful Norfolk Southern paint scheme. Now, I kind of had to get this one living in the south now, and I get to see these beautiful things all the time. And this thing is just full of detail, and that beautiful black and white with the yellow handrails and safety tread stripes this thing is a gorgeous engine and it's sad because i got this thing this year during the pandemic and i've actually never been able to run it at the club so this thing has never even ran yet so it's kind of a shame but sounds great and hopefully it runs great i would love to get it going soon right now it's just sitting in the box which is a shame but gorgeous engine I'm happy to have this one in my fleet. Tons of detail, which I'll show you in a minute. Alright, so next up, this is my MTH Premier F40PH, and of course, the NJ Transit paint scheme. And like the Blue Comet before, this is also pretty significant to my life directly. Um, the NJ Transit had tracks a block away from my house, and once every hour on the hour, the train would always go past my house, and I'd hear it all the time, even at night. Um, and of course, I would always see the F40s go by, and I, I love the design of the F40. I think it's a great looking engine, and of course, the model here is no exception. There is tons of detail on this. Paint, paint is nice and crisp. Even the doors open on this one, which I was not expecting. Now, I did have an issue with this. I was kind of playing around with the DCS remote, and for some reason, the... Um, marker lights don't work anymore so if anybody knows a fix for that and like I said I've only taken this out of the box once just to turn on 
So if anybody knows what the fix is for the DCS remote to get the marker lights to come back on, please let me know. Because I would love to figure that out and hopefully it's not a bigger issue than I think. But yeah, pretty uh, significant uh, engine to me. Like I said, this would run past my house all the time. Now, I don't have any passenger cars, but hopefully I have some coming on the way soon. Um, but yeah, love this model. It even has the flashing strobe lights on top, which is a really cool feature. But yeah, again, this is another engine that I have not actually ran yet at the club. So I'm really excited for this thing to fire up and actually run for once. All right, this is my MTH Premier BNSF AC4400 CW. Um, this is a total beautiful diesel. Um, I've always wanted to get a BNSF, and I'm not a big fan of the newer paint scheme. I love this one. I love the orange with the kind of pine green. I just, green's one of my favorite colors, so obviously this one with the, the green on the, the roof and the walkways and also the accent paint as well as the war bonnet on the front looks really good so I just love this one and this one actually I got this before the whole pandemic started so this one got to run a few times at the layout so this one has had some use and it runs great I love this thing like I said I love the orange and the green together it works really well it's a total beautiful engine as well as the silver trucks and fuel tank as well look great um, so yeah love this guy all right, last up on the list, this is my MTH Premier SD80 Mac in the CSX paint scheme. And this thing is a total beast. This is the biggest diesel engine I have. This thing is huge. It's way longer than any other diesel I own. And it being in a CSX paint scheme, it is perfect. I love this thing so much. You know, being from the East Coast, um, the local freight by me was always CSX and I've always wanted a CSX engine and of course like I said earlier my favorite color is blue so what else could you want this thing has a lot of detail and like I said it is huge I can't wait to run this thing when I get the chance again I'm really upset that I don't have the opportunity to use these beautiful engines I have I really can't wait to finally get them on the rails and run them but this thing is Total beast, it's huge. I love the detail on it. Again, huge fan of the CSX, and I love the blue paint scheme on this one. It sounds good, but I said I don't know how it runs, but I'm eager to get it on the rails and roll it out for, for the first time. But I love this thing. Really nice engine. All right, guys, that's it. This is the updated engine fleet for now, but make sure you stay tuned because there is more to come. Take care, guys.